for a nice cup of tea. Outside pod number one. What a view. Okay, all packed up, ready to go. Time to leave a uh, safe refuge of our camping pod and get back on the road. Unfortunately, the sun's gone in. It was lovely first thing this morning. Wasn't it, darling? It was beautiful. It was beautiful. beautiful. Not unlike myself. Okay. Back on the coast path, back on the trail. We're heading towards Port Isaac and Port Quinn. We might even drop into Port Wynn, see the Dr. Martin. I've got a bit of a problem with my right toe, so maybe you can have a quick look. I don't know if you can hear that. That's a, um, a massive flock of birds. I reckon there must be oh, a few hundred. And you can hear them from here. They're just all like, kind of just down there on the sea. So it must be seagulls of some sort. Hell of a racket. see Port Isaac in the distance. It's about, about four and a half, maybe five miles. And we're just uh, walking down into one of, I think it's probably the first steep sided valleys that we've got to go down through today. I think it's about five of them. So uh, that should be fun. Julie's looking forward to it anyway. That was a climb. Sorry, love. First thing in the morning, you should be flying up there. <laughs> okay. Valley number two. Don't look quite as steep as the last one, but I'm sure we're going to be huffing and puffing by the time we get up to the other side over there.
Heaven's a fucking Betsy. Oh. <laughs> well, look what I did spy from the top of that hill. I just ran down and have another look. Look. A little cave. Should we go and have a look? See what's down there? Oh, better clean the lens first. Okay, let's go and see. A little cove. I think uh, possibly when the tide's out, it'd be a nice little beach. Oh. oh well, let's go back up. Well, I don't know if it was worth the run and the climb from up there. Uh, let's have a look. Okay. Two of the three, or two of the five valleys conquered. Um, now the mist has come in, so it's uh, on with the waterproofs, I think. Take off as much clothes as we can, because the waterproofs aren't very good at the moment. And then, um, basically just walking in underpants with waterproofs over the top. Lovely. And that's just you. And that's just me. <laughs> Okay, all waterproofed up, ready to go. Yes. See, we had to strip off to get put all this on. <laughs> and it stopped raining. Now it stopped raining. Five minutes, ten minutes to put it all on. And now it looks like it's cleared up. Well, a little bit better. The mist was well in just now. And then it, now it's well out. <laughs> well hard. Bloody well hard. Okay, valley number three. Again, not as steep as the first one, but I'm sure again we will be huffing and puffing once we get to the top, which is up there. Also, I got a feeling just over there, a little black hole in the side. I reckon that might be a, a secret cave going to a secret beach that only I know and maybe a couple of hundred others. Judy now negotiating crossing of the Amazon. She could be on, um, what's it called? You've been framed. Okay, cave number two. Let's go and see. Oh, shit. What's down in here? Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, here we go. Now, apparently, it's worth it. Well, I'm not sure. Oh my god, it's dark. Oh my god. Look at hell. Oh, shiver. I can not see anything, it's pitch black. It really is pitch black. worth coming down here.
See light. See light at the end of the tunnel, as they say, but I also see something flying in. Bloody hell. This must be about at least 50 or oh, something just right. Out. Must be about 50 yards long. Oh, the majority of it is in oh, pitch blackness. You definitely need a torch. Okay. Let's see what's down the other side. Ha! Ah, oh, this is weird. beach. Well, that's the cave entrance. Entrance? Well, well, it's an entrance, all depends which way you're coming from. That was a good 50 metres in the dark down to this lovely little beach. Oh, well, even better if it was, uh, if the sun was shining. Oh, Trouble is, I've got to go all the way back up now. All right, I'm not going to film it going back up. I'm just going to hopefully be able to scramble back up, and not break the leg. Oh, well, just coming down into. Valley number four of the five. A little bit out of puff now after my caving experience. Okay, okay, it's a bit slippery down here. the top of coming up to the top of valley number four hopefully only one more to go and blue skies well that's still uh, poor Isaacs in front and it's now quarter to one and we left at uh, half past nine I think it was and it was about four and a half miles we've seen the sign four and a half to five miles to Port Isaac so all right we're just been just barely doing a mile and a half or a mile an hour and there goes my timer telling me that it's time for us to stop and have a have a drink from the um water bladder which I set every half an hour Whew. Tintagel 6 We don't walk from Tintagel though often we were like walked about three and a half I reckon No but yesterday 
Oh, we walked before, we were before Tintagel anyway, weren't we? Yeah, so we're in That don't make sense. Totally confused with these markers. National Trust, this section between Tintagel and Port Isaac needs sorting. Anyway, Ian's yeah. moan for the day. And um, can I just say, for the amount of revenue the council must get in for the filming of the Dot Martin, bloody invest some in your coast paths. Yeah, it's crap. this has got to be the worst little section. Non-maintained, like no benches, scrabbly little paths. Ooh, sort it out. Anyway, this is the last valley before Port Isaac. Once we get to the top of the other one, that one there, we are having some dinner, serious dinner time. Okay, well, we've just come down into Port Gavern. I think that's how it's pronounced. Beautiful little pub behind the pub. We thought no, because we're professionals. Because <laughs> we can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Julie can't be bothered. It's not the attitude to take. <laughs> We've got to get to Port Isaac, get some supplies. <sighs> oh, well, here we are. Just coming down into Port Isaac. Just be down in the harbour there. Now, all we got to do is find. We got to do is find an ice cream parlour. That posh way of putting it. We're going to find an ice cream parlour. <laughs> <laughs> There's one here. We've got one here. <laughs> oh, smells really nice. We can smell nice food down here. We don't know what it is. Oh, hang on, hang on. Roskill is. Roskill is ice cream. Closed. Damn it. What's going on? Oh, hang on. There we go. This will do for me. Okay. Okay, well, we've cut up, up onto the main road to the co-op, got some provisions, and now we're heading back down again. Did get slightly lost. Um, me reading the map upside down, as per usual. Nice light as well. Oh, Christ almighty. Hi, for a drink. Um, got you, Ken. What do you want to do? Really expensive, was it? Yeah. I think we had a drink in there once. You what? We had a drink in there once. Yeah. Okay. Very busy in uh, Port Isaac. I'm not hanging about. We've been up to the, up to the co-op, so we're going to push on through to Port Quinn. And we're going to walk up past Dr. Martin's house. I'll pop in and see if uh, you can look at my toe. <laughs> right, just knocked on the door, didn't we, Joe? <laughs> Bloody, I ain't got an appointment for me. Apparently, yeah. too busy. Too busy with what's her name? Louisa. Louisa. Louisa, she's gone off with bloody Louisa, hasn't he? She, he, she, be she. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, he'll have to wait then. 
the tower at another time. Oh. We've seen the um, a big flock of birds, seabirds like this, earlier this morning, first day. A lot closer now, look. Hundreds and hundreds. And poor Isaac over there in the distance. Do you know they're feeding on? Do you know this oh, do you know this fish or something down there? Right, we've uh, just stopped for a little 10 minute break and we're about, I don't know, maybe a mile and a half two miles the other side of um, Port Isaac and it's about a past four so we're going to start looking for somewhere to camp so far though it's all been lots and lots of fences all the way along the path so um, we should just have to see what we can find and also it looks like there's some rain coming in so we may be lucky might we We shall see. Well, I think this is going to be it. Um, the mist is coming in. It's only about five o'clock, and this, this place is a little bit close to the path. But there's such a lot of um, farmers' fences bordering on um, the coast path. There's not a lot of flat spots at all. So um, I'm thinking here, what do you reckon? Well, it's flat, it's better than back there. 